Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. Four o'clock hour gliding along smoothly as you can see from our Luther family forward view. Out to the west, things are looking high and dry, and in fact, some lumpy bumpiness to those clouds as we have what's called a little bit of convection. That surface air warms a little bit, starts rising, and we get those puffy cumulus clouds developing across the valley. Check this out. Uh, with all the melting going on, you may be wondering, hmm, I wonder what that flood's going to look like. Let's answer some of those questions. And that melt is beginning with these mild temperatures. But the good news is so it's melting rather slowly. During the day, we're getting a real vibrant melt out there with those uh, temperatures rising in the 40s and even 50s down south. So the Southern Valley starting to see that runoff happen. Now, below freezing temperatures at night helps lock things back up and slow it down. Good news on the precipitation front. Our chances for additional precipitation in the next week or so look light and low as far as uh, the chance of precip goes, but that runoff is increasing. So we need to keep our mind on the fact that we are likely to see moderate to major flooding where you see the red gauge dots here. These are river gauge measurement points the National Weather Service uses to keep our eyes on the weather and the melting and the rising of the rivers. Where you see the red and purple ones, red ones, Moderate stage flooding is expected and major stage, at least the low end major stage here in Fargo with over 30 feet is more than 50% likely. Now, once we get north of Grand Forks, barely see the red on the moderate stage there. Once we get to Oslo and Pembina, those points could certainly see flooding Oslo a problem uh, many years. We'll keep our eyes on this as we go through and we'll be your first alert to keep you ahead of the rising waters as we go through our spring melt. Now for the 24 hour period, we're watching for some slippery roads once again because we'll have some patchy fog. Here's some more of them lumpy, bumpy clouds forming out in the dry land of well, southwest North Dakota in northwest parts of South Dakota. Clouds limiting some of that warming up in northern Minnesota, but we also have snow on the ground. That's the white stuff that's not moving here. And Lakes Country has a fair amount of snow, but we do have this bare land here in the Red River Valley that's allowing temperatures in places like Grand Forks and Fargo to challenge the 40s and even 50 yesterday in Fargo. Devil's Lake, a little bit more snow on the ground, but you can actually see it retreating just a little bit as that sun goes to work on the edge of that warm air to the south and west right now out at Hector. Your temperature, 45 degrees, wind northwesterly, 13 miles per hour, 45 as well at Moorheads Airport. The beach balls are back out near 60 in Mobridge, 56 in Pier, 39 up in Roseau right now, 39 as well in Detroit Lakes, and 38 for Grand Forks. Cooler temperatures than yesterday. Remember yesterday out in central Minnesota, we had 50 degree readings, but the lack of sun limiting that pine tree effect. All right, here's your look at your satellite and radar. Not much to be concerned about there. Here's your hour by hour forecast. Clouds push south as we go through the evening, but temperatures stay fairly mild. It's overnight we drop below freezing once again. Slippery roads where you see the dark colors. Hutch has uh, identified areas where we'll see the best chance of some fog potential developing in the overnight hours. The valley and points west and with freezing temperatures, we could have freezing fog. Liquid cloud droplets freezing on your windows, roads and sidewalks could make for slippery morning travel conditions. Here's a look at your temperatures as we go through midday rising. We'll see afternoon sun, particularly out to the west where the warm weather will continue. Look at that near 60 in Bismarck, 48 in the Jamestown area. And look at this here in the valley. We're expecting temperatures once again near 40 degrees. A little cooler off to the east with more clouds. Once again, fog will be in the forecast to start your weekend on Saturday morning, but even warmer temperatures are expected then. Your hometown forecast shows 30s north, 40s for most in the south, and near 50 out to the west in the James River Valley. Beautiful scene here, some high clouds. Sherry, thanks so much. This is a long lake sunrise. That lake still pretty chilly, pretty frozen. Saturday, 45 degrees for that parade there if you're heading outdoors to celebrate the season. 50 springy degrees on the first day of spring. That is the vernal equinox. Then unsettled weather next week, but it looks like a lower amount of precipitation that we were seeing earlier. So we'll put our hats on and celebrate fairly pleasant weather for the next few days. <laughs> Look at that 50. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Top of the hat to you. Yeah. All right, no shenanigans this weekend. It looks good. <laughs> you even found a tie that works on the on I the green did. screen. It didn't, uh, it didn't disappear, did good it? Good for you. Right. Lucky. <laughs> Thanks, Hutch. Uh -huh. well,